the number three Raider of all time, Fred Bolitnikoff. Fred Belenikoff, I just thought, epitomized everything a wide receiver should be. Not afraid to go over the middle, always making the tough catch. In 14 seasons with the silver and black, our number three Raider caught 589 passes for 76 touchdowns, despite being considered too small and too slow to play in the NFL. You looked at him and you kept thinking, how does he get open? He was not really fast. He was not really big, uh, but he always caught the ball and he made spectacular catches. 4740, a hell I could outrun him. We didn't say that Belenikoff was a speedster, did we? We just said he had great hands. He was just fantastic. Hands, feet. Deep bomb being thrown to Belenikoff on the left side. Leaping catch. End zone. Touchdown, He was so good at working the sidelines, so good at catching the ball and handling it. We're pumped to the left, comes back to the right, drawing to Belenikoff. Super catch. I mean, he was just a perfectionist. I mean, he did that every day. He practiced that stuff every day. He would, he would give up his ears, his eyes, everything to catch a pass. Our number three reader left nothing to chance, so his already sticky hands were aided by a controversial foreign substance. Stick them. What? Who created that stuff? I mean, who in the right mind? What did they put, glue in a jar? Raider rule number one, cheating is encouraged. Like you say, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. That was one of our mottos. I think I saw a ball stuck to his chest one time without, without him having to really put his hands on it. Politikoff caught everything thrown to him. Of course, he had all that, that glue on his hands. And he, the ball used to stick there. And he's got it! He would tape his forearms from the break of his wrist to the break of his elbow. So if the ball hit and somehow got through his hands, it had hit that and he'd get another shot at it. Bolitnikov was always the greatest because it looked like he walked into a maple syrup factory that exploded. And the worst thing was that he always had gum. Now his fingers are all filled up with stick them, so there's no way he's going to open up the gum. Artificially gummy hands would put Bolitnikov lower on most lists. But since this is the Raiders, his ingenuity sticks him at number three. Did not need stick a uh, psychological thing with Freddie. He just thought he had to have it. Think about this. Fred Bolitnikoff, Lester Hayes. I mean, would they have been great players without stick? Would we even know who they are without stick? If it just took stick to be Fred Bolitnikoff, I'd be buying that company, right? You know, it takes a lot more than stick him. Bolitnikov's status at number three was cemented by a most valuable player performance in Super Bowl XI. Typical Bolitnikov. You look back on Freddie's career, he always stepped up in big games. Anybody who watched him, did you see him play? And if you saw him play, you saw, you saw greatness on the field. But I think Freddie B certainly deserves to be very high on every list. He was an ultimate red. He didn't ask permission. He took it.